Hi and welcome to another session about basic modeling in Blender. This time I'm going to show you how to make a crystal ball and the reason for it is this image here. I posted it on Facebook and got a lot of positive response about it and also a lot of questions about the material and fruits and so on and also about how I cre created this ball here. And it's rather simple, so I think it uh, fits this uh, topic about basic modeling very nice. And uh, yeah, I will show you how to do it. And I will also show how to add a material to it. And I will put some apples in it and so on. So you will have the complete flow here. So let's get started. I have this cube and I press X or delete to take it away. Then Shift A, Mesh. Uh, icosphere. This will be my bowl in the end. Then I select an uh, autographic view, so numpad 5, view and left. Zoom it in a bit, press tab and select faces. And select this one so I can see through it. Then I press A to deselect and B to box select and select the top part here which I take away because I know it needed. And uh, I will also flatten the bottom here. So I press B again, take select this, um, S set zero, and G set to move it up just a bit like that. And I will also put in uh, smaller, sh uh, smaller areas inside here because I want these flat even if I subdivide. So I press A to deselect everything and then A again to select it and I twice. And then I make some space here so it looks like this. And the final thing I will do here is to add another edge in the top because I will connect this outer region with an inner region later on. So I select Alt and select the top here and extrude top, so extrude just a bit like this, and then S for scale, and then G set to take it down a bit. And when you see this uh, disappear, then you know it's uh, in the right height here, and then you can let it go like this. Now I've done all I need for the outer region, and now it's time for the inner region. To do it in the same area in edit mode, I just hide this first. So I press A and A again to select everything. And then I press H, so it gets hidden. It's still there, but it's hidden. Now I start with the inner region, so I press Shift A again. This time UV sphere, because I will have a round region inside. I will not do anything else until I change that amount of segments here because the UV sphere and the icosphere they don't start with the same amount of segments and we need to align them so we press 40 here before we do anything else and then we select faces again and A for deselect and B for box select and once again we take away the top part here and we also flatten this part so B and select that part. S set zero. And now we take it up a bit. G set like this. And now I select everything and scale it down a bit like this. And now I can press Alt H to get the other uh, outer region back again. And I check carefully that the inside is really inside all the way and it looks like that so I don't have to do anything again and now I can deselect this one and I see now that I have missed a part here as you can see so then I just press Control Z to go back again and scale this a little bit more like that I think and then I press Alt H again to get it out and now I take a second look at this 
and it looks fine all over so everything is okay and now I would like to connect the inner region with the outer region so what I do first is select uh, edges and then I select the top edges here the outer region and I go to subdivide and I select free and that means that I get one two three uh, dots vertices between each section which will be the same as the inner region here and then I press shift and alt and I select the inner region as well so now I have both lines selected then I go to the mesh I go to edges bridge edge loop which will so, uh, will merge them together like this and then I have my ball finished, almost. I also need to put in some subdivision and so on. And I can do like this. So I have another window here and I select node editor. I select material, I select new. And here I zoom in a bit so you can see. And now I take away the diffuse and press shift A, shader and put in uh, principle instead like this and since this is like a glass or crystal we should see right through it so transmission to one uh, almost no roughness at all so we take that down like this and I would not like to have glass I would like to have crystal so I increase this a bit like this and that is all I need for the material here. Then I put some uh, environment on, so I have some reflection. So I click on the word here, use notes, background, environment, and then you have to put in some HDR in here. And I use uh, the winter forest, as you know, but you can select whatever you want. So I have a picture that looks like this. And I put that in. And now I can press render and I have my bowl here and I now fix it a little bit with the modifier as well. So I put add modifier, subdivision surface and I put this up and if it should be exactly as my image then I put it all the way up to 4. And then I also uh, select smooth here. Now you cannot see the background because it's still an autographic view. So if you press uh, numpad 5, you get the background and everything. So this is my ball. It's now finished. And what I did in uh, my uh, image as well was that I put a small uh, blue lamp inside. So if I go to solid here, uh, select shift A and lamp and the point and go to the lamp here and select like a blue shade and then I put this really low like four or something like that and move it down so G set like this then you can see the blue go through here and it will also reflect if you have like a plane uh, a ground or something that it will stand on then it's just to fill it with uh, fruit and uh, the apple you can get for free. It's just to go to my site, uh, Blender Insight, and you can go to Textures. And in Textures, I have a lot of Blend file for you. It's just to pick them. And in this Blend file, you can also see that I have the apple peel, so apple shader. So you just click here on this one and here you can just download it here and then you get it. So on my machine I have it already so I can just go in and I select a pen here and I have my apples here so in this case I put three apples in so I have not named them very well but they are these three and they are these three here so I just a pen for library put them in and they are huge so just scale them down a bit and there we have 
up in front of me. J, put an in here, like that. See if we can have them in like that. And then I can even can take them up a bit and rotate them and so on until I get something that looks okay. And then I have the shader here, so I can just click on that and if I want uh, some other color on my apple, I just change things here and I can do whatever I want with, with this uh, with this apple here. So it's very easy to change since I have a shader that you have downloaded. And then it's finished, so it's not harder than this. The only thing you need to think about when it comes to uh, working with glass and so on, it's always to have the normals uh, at the right direction. Otherwise you get uh, the wrong reflection and so on. But if you have a uh, control over that, uh, everything should be working very nicely using only the principal shader, so you don't need glass shader or anything. Just take the transmission to one, as I have done here, and the roughness uh, to zero or near zero. And then you can control the internet or <laughs> index of refraction here. And if you uh, would like to see what every type of material like crystal glass water have, then you just Google for index of refraction or IOR and you will get a list uh, immediately on Google what uh, you have when it comes to ice or glass or whatever. So you can then change it or you can just go by feeling. So uh, that is how I did the ball and I hope you learned a little bit about uh, this as well and uh, then it's just to subscribe and I will send you a message as soon as I have something new on my um, channel and see you later. Thank you and bye!